Welcome to Talk Tantra to Me. It is such an honor to be holding space for this divine knowledge to make its way into your ears and lifestyle. Today, I'm going to be guiding you through a meditation around sex magic. This is a very juicy practice, and I'm so excited to be sharing it with you. If you are unfamiliar with the concept of sex magic, I will go into this briefly as an introduction. However, I definitely recommend listening to episode one of this podcast called Sex Magic 101, which goes into all the details about what sex magic is. So to me, sex magic is this concept of harnessing your life force energy to create opportunities and experiences that you crave. The concept of sex magic is supported by the law of attraction, and this is an energetic principle that relies on the belief that all things are energy and that like energies attract one another. As above, so below, very much a foundation piece of Tantra as well. When it comes to the law of attraction, this is the belief that, you know, when you think positively, things such as gratitude, pleasure, and trust, you are a magnet for more positive opportunities and experiences. Yet negative thinking, including feelings of fear, shame, and guilt, creates more negative experiences in your life. So... What does this have to do with sex? When do you feel the most ecstatic, the most in your pleasure, the most connected to something outside of yourself? For most of us, it's, you know, at the heights of sexual pleasure, you know, climax, you know, sexual intimacy can be seen as an altered state, as an expansive state of consciousness. So when we tap in to, you know, our sexual pleasure, also known as our life force energy or arrows, or kundalini, we are aligning with an energy that is incredibly powerful. It is powerful enough to create a human life. And in that way, you know, it is the fabric of our existence. If you look around you, you know, pretty much everything you see was either created directly by this energy or it was created by someone or something that was created by this energy. You know, me, you, the listener, every single person you know, Animals, the food that we eat is all created by this energy. Even our clothes is created by natural fibers, you know, created by some sort of sexual energetic exchange between plants or animals. So when we tap into this energy with intention, we are aligning ourselves with an incredibly powerful creative force, especially as we evoke intention into our self-pleasure or into partnered intimacy We're then able to harness that that energy for ecstasy and bliss and using the law of attraction, we could become a magnet for our desires. Wow, incredible. So the three steps are to set an intention. You know, what are you looking to call in? And then second, you're going to awaken your arrows. You're going to begin to seduce yourself or seduce your lover, begin to warm up into pleasure. And then as you come into any heightened state or climax of pleasure, you're going to visualize or feel into or even say out loud what you desire, what you would like to call in. And then, you know, it's integrating, it's making space for these manifestations to take place and also being in a space of gratitude for all that you already have in your lifetime. Mindset is incredibly important for this work and as is just being present with your thoughts and your feelings and creating a tantric lifestyle with sacred sexuality to me is the foundation piece for having successful sex magic and successful manifestation. So that being said, that's kind of the overview of sex magic. And now I'd love to get into this guided meditation. So this meditation is really here to allow you to warm up into this energy of purpose and pleasure and presence. It is something that I recommend doing in a place that you feel very comfortable and safe, maybe the doors closed, maybe by yourself or sharing it with, you know, a beloved or a loved one. And just be aware that this is an exercise that you can take as deeply and uh, intimately and erotically as you desire, or it can be done um, in a much more energetic way. So there will be times that I encourage, you know, some uh, activation of arrows, including, you know, touching genitals potentially, or just warming up the energy at the root of your spine, at your base, the sexual energy. And you get to decide uh, how 
how intimately you want to take this practice. This is definitely something that you can do without touching yourself at all and just being in the energy of arrows of life force, or you could pair this with a full blown self pleasure practice. So feel into where you're at in this moment. Maybe consider uh, getting some props together if you'd like, maybe a feather or, you know, some uh, flowers or some oils, any toys that you'd like to incorporate. Uh, now is a good time to gather those. And maybe hit pause if you feel you need a moment to kind of set the scene for this ritual. Otherwise, you know, making yourself comfortable, beginning to get into a comfortable position. If you are going to be taking a more energetic route to position doesn't matter as much. And I also want to give you permission, you know, in this practice to move your body, to uh, adjust your position, to adjust your posture if it feels uh, in alignment with the direction that you're going in. I tend to prefer to do this sort of meditation laying down on my back. Sometimes I like to have my knees up with my feet firmly planted on the floor that adds a sense of grounding to me. But you can also do this exercise sitting up in a lotus position or in any other you know, traditional, traditional yoga or um, meditation posture. So go ahead and take that moment to get settled. And as you do so, shift your attention to your breath. Objectively observing the quality, pace, and depth of your inhale. And maybe consciously slowing it down Drinking in more breath with each inhale and exhaling in a gentle and relaxed way. Guiding the breath all the way down to your lower belly so that you feel that lower belly raise with your inhale. Then guiding that breath into your chest and then enjoying a nice, slow exhale. It's almost like you're taking two inhales here. Inhale into your lower belly. Inhale into your chest. And then a nice, slow exhale. Continuing with that more profound breath pattern, nice deep inhale. In this time, exhaling with a sound or a sigh. Ah. Repeating that a couple more times. Nice deep inhale. And exhaling with vocalization, a moan or a sigh or a groan. Again, just like that. Nice vocal exhale. Continuing with these deep, profound breaths into the lower belly and finding a little bit more of a relaxed way to do so. And in this moment, giving yourself permission to return to this more vocal exhale at any time in our practice together. In Tantra, we say that sound, breath, and movement are our three greatest tools for moving energy, energy in motion or emotion. We often move about our days quite contracted, not allowing ourselves to get feel fully comfortable a lot of tension held in the body, feeling like we need to be quiet and small, to be accepted, to be loved. In this moment, knowing you are safe to explore the depths of your expression and emotion, 
giving yourself permission to make any kind of sound. Moan, groan, sigh, laugh, cry, scream. All of these expressions are welcome in this space giving yourself full permission to use sound to express the energy in your body and giving yourself permission to use your breath as a tool if you find yourself overwhelmed or if you feel a lot of pleasure and excitement in your lower chakras or in your genitals, using the breath as a tool to guide the energy up, 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 through your body, using the breath as a tool to come back into presence if you find yourself distracted or thinking about something irrelevant, using the breath as a tool to come back into your body and into the moment, knowing that each inhale can only happen in the moment of now. and giving yourself permission to use the tool of movement. Allowing yourself to make any adjustments, any shifts in your weight or posture at any time in this practice. Giving yourself permission to create space or to lean into pleasure, to rock your hips, to touch your body, to move. In this moment, giving yourself full permission to surrender into the desires of your body and of this life force energy. Setting the intention to fully welcome in the tools of sound, breath, and movement. Inhaling deeply. And if you find yourself uncomfortable at any time with the guidance in this meditation, you can either simply choose to drop the judgment of yourself and of this expression, or you can choose to not take on the instruction. You can choose to find your own path to create your own experience. You have full safety to explore your edges and full sovereignty within your own desires, preferences, and boundaries. On your next inhale, breathing in the energy of love, feeling loving energy funnel into your body with each breath, each inhale charged with the nutrients that you need to continue being, which is the ultimate gift of love from our universe. To be alive, to be embodied, this gift in each breath. recognizing the nutrients in each breath, alchemized by your heart space to be carried through your circulatory system to each and every cell in your body so that your entire being is vibrating with this energy of love. And taking a moment to consider what you love about your body. Where have your legs taken you? Whom have your arms held? What capacity of pleasure, ecstasy, and bliss has your body gifted you the ability to experience? Taking a moment to fully appreciate the primal, the sensual, the expressive nature of your body and all the gifts it has to offer you. And then shift your attention to your mind. What do you love about your mind? What decisions have you made that you're proud of? 
what beauty or awareness has your intuition led you to discover? What desire, pleasure, fantasy has your mind allowed you to envision and maybe even take action upon? Taking this moment to appreciate your creativity, your ingenious of your mind. And then what do you love about your soul. What are you passionate about? How do you use your passions to ignite purpose? How do you make people feel? What energy do you bring to the world? Taking this moment to fully appreciate the impenetrable core of your being which transcends lifetimes, your soul. And then considering this lifetime, why did your soul choose this life, this body, these opportunities and challenges? What have you come here to learn or grow through? And what are you here to offer to the world? What is your gift? And using this awareness to call in your highest self. Visualizing a higher timeline a greater capacity, the version of you that you identify with greater truth, immense love, success, expansive relationships. What beingness, actions, things does your highest self embody calling forth your deepest desire and acknowledging that what you desire spirit desires there is a reason for your longing your dream is meant for you Otherwise, it wouldn't be in your consciousness. Let go of the tendency to manifest or visualize your highest self based on what you have evidence for or what you've accomplished in the past or seen others accomplish. Allow yourself to dream beyond what is reasonable beyond what feels achievable. Reach for the highest self that you almost don't recognize. One that is in your wildest imagination. Beyond your greatest capacity for impact. Knowing and owning the exponential expansion you are. that can hold and receive massively. Massive love, massive impact, massive mission, massive money, massive space. Consider who you need to become to embody the manifestation you desire. And using this awareness to set an intention for our practice. 
we are going to be working with very powerful, creative, life force energy. And with that, we'd like to direct this energy, this power into your intention, into your desired manifestation. So allowing that intention to contain itself into some kind of word or visualization or feeling in the body. Anchoring that in, feeling the intention in your heart space, feeling the support of the earth beneath you, recognizing that the earth has so generously provided all of your basic needs and so many of your desires already. And feeling the support of that higher self, feeling the support of spirit, God, divinity, any archetypes that you align with, feeling their support in this moment as well as you begin to awaken the energy at the base of your spine. Connecting to your root chakra, feeling into the energy and the power in this part of your body, this desire to be alive, to be an expression, energy at the base of your spine, very similar to the energy at the core of the earth, this immense pressure and power, which is alchemized through layers of the crystalline core of the earth to create this abundant and rich experience on the surface of our planet. This energy paralleled in your own body immense pressure and power at your core harnessed to create outwardly to create the life you are living now and also the life you desire beginning to awaken and engage this energy with some light pelvic floor contraction Maybe rocking your hips, inviting in some movement, some breath, some sound to begin to wake up this life force energy. Inhaling deeply into your pelvic floor, into your root. And maybe considering placing your hands, cupping your genitals, feeling the warmth, the power here at the base of your energetic system. Continuing to experiment with contractions of the pelvic floor, also known as Kegels. Considering leaning in to the grasping of the genitals, the whole thing here. Beginning to become aware of any arousal, any desire, any sense of aliveness or turn on. And feeling the alignment with your desire to be in alignment with the desires of your highest self. Feeling this energy, feeling this intention, this power. And then maybe incorporating some light movement or gentle massage with your hands. Knowing this is a safe space to allow yourself to fully own and to fully receive your deepest desires to allow this manifestation to land in your body 
prepared with the aliveness that brought you into this world. Welcoming in this life force, this love which desires to live through you. Maybe begin to move your hands up your body, caressing your lower belly, raising your heart space, your breasts, your chest, tickling your shoulders and down your arms. You're rubbing your hands together to feel the energy spread through your digits. And then maybe bringing your palms to your throat or anywhere else you feel intuitively guided. Maybe massaging the expressive center in your neck, behind your ears, be grasping onto the lobes, massaging, connecting. Applying pressure to your temples and the space at your brow point. Objectively observing any sensations, feelings, visualizations that may come through in this moment, letting go of any expectation or attachment as to how your energy should move or how you need to feel in your body. Just inviting in your higher self, free of any judgments or expectations. Allowing yourself to just be, and then maybe bringing your energy, your attention back down to your root, to your sex, feeling the creative power here once more. Again, maybe cupping the genitals or incorporating some massage, some pleasurable soft touch. Connecting into this energy, to this altered state. And pairing this creative force with the visualization, the intention that we set earlier in this practice. The desire that is in alignment with your highest self. Pairing your sense of turned on energy to your desired manifestation. Feeling yourself lit up, turned on by the impact you'll make in the world. The permission slip you get to be. Turned on by the love you birth into this world. By the money you steward that each purchase you make, each dollar that comes to you is invested in the betterment of our society. Giving yourself permission to be turned on by the material things you cherish, the energy that they offer as they invite you to embody your highest self. Becoming turned on by life itself aroused by the human you get to become, to hold all that you desire. Feeling in to that pleasure, that joy to create from your lower chakras, inhaling that energy up your body, up into your crown, And again, intuitively allowing your hands, your body, 
to move with this transmission of energy. Where in your body could you benefit from landing this vision, anchoring it in with some pleasurable touch? And considering how you can create space this higher timeline of your life. What can you let go of? What can you commit to? How can you embody gratitude for what you have already to call in more appreciation and love? Taking a moment to witness the evidence of your expansion as support for this manifestation to come through. At this time, I invite you to go deeper into this practice with increasing pleasure inviting in your own intuition to guide you further, deeper, farther if you desire. Consider pausing this guided practice if that feels in alignment for you. Otherwise, if you are feeling complete with this exercise, it's taking a moment to inhale deeply to fully receive all that you are and all your potential, really maximizing the energy that you have harnessed in this practice. And then slowly using your breath to come back to the present moment, inhaling deeply into your lower belly, allowing your energy to become reacquainted with the room maybe inviting in some gentle and organic movement. Nice big stretch above your head, wiggling the fingers and the toes, maybe rolling over or rolling to a side. Listening to your body, giving your body full permission to lead the way and coming back to the present, asking your body what it needs in this moment for a more gentle, an easeful transition. After this practice, I highly encourage taking a moment to jot down your intention and also maybe some of your thoughts, visualizations, or experiences here. Maybe also consider writing down one to three things that you can do now to create space in your life for this intention to come through. And also maybe writing down three to five things that you're grateful for to show evidence that you're already on your way to bringing this manifestation into actualization. As we wrap up, I just want to take a moment to express my gratitude to you as the listener. Thank you again for opening yourself up to the idea of sacred sexuality. As always, if you're interested in learning more about my current offerings, opportunities, events, uh, containers to go one-to-one -one or into a group, check out www.talktantratome.com. And with so much gratitude and love, have a sexy and spiritual day. And I'll catch you next week on Talk Tantra to Me. Ta-ta.